Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking into another In the Dressing Room video. If you're new here, my name is Enemesit. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe, click the little bell notification button and join the Style Fam. For those of you guys who are regulars here, what's good sis? How you doing? How are things? How's the family? Things going good? Oh, that's nice. That's good to hear. Um, I'm really excited today because I am going into another dressing room. Um, this time I'm going to the Hudson's Bay. So if you're Canadian, I'm sure you're aware of what the Hudson's Bay is. But for those of you who aren't, the Hudson's Bay is a huge department store, sort of like Macy's in the States. And so the reason I wanted to go into the Hudson's Bay today is I wanted to do an in the dressing room, but with luxury brands such as Calvin Klein and brands that... I don't see bodies like mine in, and I wanted to see, hey, can we find plus size clothing in luxury brands? So we're just heading out the door now, um, on our way to West Edmonton Mall here in Edmonton. It has the biggest Hudson's Bay, so I thought that'd be a good place to go check out. I'm really excited only because I just love shopping so much. So let's head on out, let's go try on some bougie, expensive clothing, and see if it hopefully fits our bodies. <music> So the plan was to hit up the Hudson's Bay at West Edmonton Mall, but I'm low-key running a little bit late for something tonight, so I decided to go to a mall closer to me. So I'm heading up to Londonderry Mall. I'm parked right outside, and they have a huge Hudson's Bay, so hopefully I'll be able to find some plus-size luxury clothing to try on. And let's see how we do. Whenever I shop luxury for plus-size, I'm always like, We'll see. Like, I never have high hopes, but who knows? Maybe we'll be surprised. So, let's head on in. So, it looks like I found the plus sizes. Let's see what they have in here, shall we? I see Style & Co, Dex Plus, Gabrielle Plus. I don't really see high, high-end fashion luxury brands yet. I see Lord & Taylor, Karen Scott. I see other big names like Calvin Klein, but they're not in the plus, which is shocked but not surprised. found the first piece of Calvin Klein. All right, let's see what I can find. I'll gather some stuff up and we'll try some on. Okay, so before I jump into things, I wanna show you guys what I'm wearing today. Super chill outfit, nothing really special, but I'm wearing this white t-shirt and denim jacket from Additionnel. Parachute pants, they're really cute. Uh, from the Shoe Dazzle plus size clothing line. These awesome mules, which I love, they're so comfortable. From Target. Target and their mules, I swear. I have so many mules from them because they're actually just so comfy. And then rocking my favorite coach handbag in the tan. This is my go-to handbag, love it so much. So that's what I'm wearing. Okay, so I know I didn't have high hopes for shopping luxury brands and plus, but wow, the selection was sad, like pathetic. You know what I'm saying? Like, the store is huge. This Hushins Bay at the London Dairy Mall is massive, and they had loads of designers. But then to the side, there's a little plus size section. That's like, literally a minute percentage of the floor. And in there, oh my, they don't carry anything. I'm just really disappointed because plus size women, we have coins to spend too. Like, we'd like to wear Calvin, damn. It's not that serious. So, I'm actually quite disappointed in that, but since we're here, I looked through and I'm, I pulled some stuff that I'll try on for you guys. I'm not even excited to try on clothing. And do you know how much that takes for me not to be excited to try on clothing? And I don't want this video to be a rant, but fat people want to dress well too, damn. Like we really do want to dress well and we have money to dress well. So the fact that I'm like scrounging the little pieces of the stuff that we're lucky to have is just a joke and 
designers need to do better in a big way. It's such a mess. I'm so disappointed, but we'll, we'll try some stuff on and I'll show you guys, I guess, while I'm here. <sighs> okay, so here is literally the single plus Calvin Klein thing I could find in the racks and it's just this basic top. Like, like it's cute and I like it and I like the piping. I like the bell sleeves. It's really pretty. It comes to like, you know, pretty decent length. It is nice and I understand the tailoring of it. It's really pretty. It's a 1X, but I can fit into it pretty comfortably. So I think it's like a little larger cut. But it's like, how is this the only Calvin Klein piece I could find? The store had this huge Calvin Klein area, like massive, with beautiful work dresses and clothing. And this was it. I don't know who to blame. If it's Hudson's Bay, if it's Calvin Klein, I'm not sure which. But I'm upset. And I don't like shopping upset. So, I mean, here it is. Like, it's whatever. It's cute. Am I going to buy it? No. Because I'm over it. Okay, so next piece we're trying on is this Dex dress. It's like this cute peasant dress. Um, I enjoy the like grandma print of it. Um, and it's just like a really basic, pretty dress. Like I don't, I'm not mad at it. The top is like a stretchy material. It has belts to cinch the waist. I'm not even sure if Dex is what you would consider a luxury brand, but they were all that they had. So. Here we are. <laughs> it's cute. Like I, it's adorable and like, you know what? If I cinch this more, it would be better. It is a little bit on the bigger side for me. So I think if I size down to a 1X, it would fit a little bit better. But it's cute, like, decently cute dress. Again, it's just, this isn't what I came here for. I came here for luxury, you know? I came here to drop coins and this is looking real forever 21. can you guys tell i'm salty can you tell i'm mad because i'm upset <laughs> i'm upset <laughs> next we have this yellow dress from i believe the brand is called gabrielle it's pretty cute little bell sleeves faux tie waist and it's made of like this cotton linen material the color is gorgeous I actually really like this dress. I really like the shape and like the crossover material with the tie waist. It's very pretty. This isn't a 1X by the way. I threw on my shoes to show you guys how it would look with some heels. It's actually quite nice. This feels like more up the like luxury brand and in my opinion like this is very nice and you can feel like the material is really good too so I guess that's one one so this is the next dress I'm trying on it's from design lab which I believe is a Hudson's Bay specific brand it's this really pretty like mixed print sheath dress which I like except it's very small like this is a 20 wide and um, I like the concept of it, it's just the construction's not my favorite. It's actually quite pretty and I'm heading to Jamaica, I might get this in like a size larger. It's just really tight around the bust area. But I like the design of it. However, like I keep saying in this, I can find this in like ASOS or like little, pretty little things, you know what I'm saying? Like this is not designer. She's cute though. Like the mixed print is really pretty. And then it has two slits at the front. I'm 5'9 and it's just above my ankle. It's nice, like don't get me wrong, it's nice. Maybe just in a bigger size because it's really constricting. It's pretty, but again, is it luxury? No, I'm just, I don't even know how I'm going to keep trying clothing on because this is just basic as hell. Okay, so these pants and this top are both from, are they from Dex, DX. Again, nothing wrong with the clothes I'm trying on. Like, they're perfectly fine and perfectly okay. I just think that they can be found in, like, Old Navy Plus or Forever 21 Plus, you know? 
I came to the bay looking for designer brands and I'm not getting it but here we are um, first of all these joggers from Dex they're a 2x but real stretchy so you can definitely size down they're like these cool little funky floral print they're nice and then this like peasant top as well and like this ditzy daisy it's pretty high neck I love the frills but again you can't tell me that I can't find this exact outfit in Old Navy I hate this okay so I have on this Lord and Taylor top it's pretty pleated pleats it's a little tight on the arms though and then I'm wearing these design lab paisley print wide flare pants I've never tried on Design Lab before, but it feels like they fit a little small. These are 20 wide and they're a little tight. Okay, I'm done. Let's go home. I'm over it. So I am highly, highly disappointed in that shopping trip. Like, it got to the point where I just didn't even want to be a part of it anymore. I left um, midway just because it's pretty adamant and pretty obvious that high-end luxury designers don't like fat people and that's just what it is and so super disappointing because they're losing a really niche market and we want to shop luxury we want to spend money for clothes and it's unbelievable that this is still the state of fashion in 2019 like what are you guys doing like do better so yeah this is probably going to be one very short video because there was literally nothing to try on that looked like anything close to luxury and I'm not saying that the clothing I found wasn't nice it was fine but it was impossible to find anything plus and that's a mess and considering the Hudson's Bay is huge and it spans like two floors and the women's section was massive the plus size section was literally like a little itty bitty corner you know Everything was tossed together, it was chaotic, it was gross. And then you look across the aisle and everything's nice and neat and put together. And it's just, ugh, it's such a mess. I'm so frustrated at that entire shopping experience. It's unfair that someone like myself who likes fashion and likes to shop can't have the same shopping experience because I am plus size, because I'm fat. Like, it's ridiculous. And so, I'm trying to chuck it up to maybe it was this location and so I will try other Hudson's Bay in Edmonton and see but if this is the state of all the Hudson's Bays around me then I'm sad to say that Hudson's Bay can keep it I don't want it I'll spend my money elsewhere I'll spend my money on brands that actually care about plus size women so <sighs> I'm sorry if this video came across as really like ranty but i didn't want it to be that way like i came shopping genuinely excited to try on clothing to be hit with this was really disappointing and i hope that you guys watching this know that it's not your fault if you go into a store and can't find sizing like you are not the problem here the problem is the fashion industry the problem is luxury brands not wanting to cater to our bodies and if that's the fact that's cool we'll hold our money and we'll spend it elsewhere at this point and so don't ever think that it's your fault or don't ever think that the size of your body is a problem because that's not the case you know and so yeah unfortunately this is not as sunshine rainbows and lollipops as i had wanted it to be but sometimes that's just the case so yeah well thank you for watching <laughs> i'm so sorry this didn't come out the way i wanted it to i hate making videos like this when all i want to do is celebrate fashion but sometimes brands luxury brands the fashion industry as a whole needs to be called out and held accountable and so I guess that's what we're doing today. If you like this video, please like, comment below if you've ever had an experience like this where you've walked into a store and your body has made you feel othered. I would love to hear those experiences and we can chat more about it. Um, if you've had a good shopping experience in Hudson's Bay here in Canada as a plus size person, also comment below because maybe it is just this specific store. And so I want to give them somewhat of a benefit of a doubt, but that's still no excuse. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye!